Hello there, so we are going to present uh, evidence from language and gestural data regarding the spatial conceptualization of time in Indonesia. So what is meant by spatial conceptualization of time uh, in language and gestures? Let's take a look at uh, linguistic example first. So these are English examples uh, that talk about aspects of time. And we see how vocabularies from the domain of space, such as behind, ahead of, and also vocabularies from, from the domain of motion, such as left, coming up, approaching, and past, are used to talk about the changing of time, okay? And also the relationship between two uh, events or two times. Uh, for this study, we uh, take the data from a subset of the Indonesian Leipzig corpora, and also five episodes from just Alvin Toxio together the uh, especially the co-speech gesture data um, typologically speaking there are two broad patterns of the mapping between space and time uh, the first pattern is called the ego based reference point and this pattern is used to talk about uh, datic time namely the time that includes present future and past uh, and in this uh, pattern there are two flavors namely the ego based reference point moving ego and the ego based reference point moving time let's take a look at this example first um, so this is the schema of ego based reference point uh, moving ego uh, ourself the ego is understood as the anchor of the present okay and we orient the future and past relative to ourself either in front of us or at the back of us okay in Indonesian as you see from this example we have evidence, linguistic evidence, that uh, future is understood as in front of us based on this linguistic expression. Uh, but we will see what happens with the past later on. Here is a linguistic example to illustrate that uh, we have a moving ego expression where in this example, it is plagiar, uh, the students that acts as ego that move along the temporal landscape, namely uh, holiday period and school period. Okay. Uh, in the moving time uh, flavor, the, the pattern is switched, so the time is understood as if it is moving, us as the ego and the anchor point, the reference point, are stationary. Okay, uh, so we also have a dynamic expression for future in Indonesian, such as masa yang akan datang and masa mendatang. Okay, and these are two examples of uh, moving time uh, metaphoric expressions, yeah, masa panen tiba, so harvest period. Uh, is understood as moving and arrives at us, okay? Uh, and the second example is fixed expression in Indonesian that is motivated by moving time uh, construal. I'm not going to talk about the time-based reference point because of the time restriction. Now let's like, uh, take a look at the gesture data. Uh, we use gesture as a window uh, into the imagistic dimension of speaker's thought process and it becomes the unequivocal evidence for spatiomotoric representation of time in the speaker's mind when they talk about temporal language. Now, please take a look at this uh, female speaker. Pay attention to the uh, finger's movement uh, when she talks about this year at that time of speaking and also the month that has passed. So this uh, talk show happens in October. So it makes sense that September has already passed. Jadi tahun ini sebenarnya 29 September lalu yeah. itu 50 tahun mereka dikeluarkan dari penjara Glodok. Ya, yeah, so tahun ini this year so she anchors the present year as if it is co-located with her uh, body and within this year she talks about a uh, month that has passed in September. So she moves her thumb at the back. Ya, yeah, so we see the uh, mapping of uh, sorry, present uh, past as behind the ego. Here is another example of uh, gesture for dictic time, uh, namely past and futures. Uh, now by the host, Alvin. Yeah. Okay. One more time. So tiga tahun yang lalu, and then nanti. Yeah, at the present time, again, the anchor is the ego's body, the host body, but the three years ago, already behind him, and later on in the future, it's in front of him, okay? And, and um, 
we see that past is behind and future is front mappings here. So uh, in conclusion, we hope to show you a glimpse of evidence for the linguistic and non-linguistics uh, that I'm sorry, linguistic and non-linguistic evidence that indicates special representation of time in Indonesian. And we also uh, show you the mapping of deictic times onto the front back axis. Future is front, past is behind, both from linguistics and gestural evidence. We couldn't talk about this mapping of sequential times uh, in the lateral axis, left and right, because of time limitation. And I hope to discuss this again uh, in the discussion session later on. Okay, uh, thank you and see you soon.